on a lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen this is the first time you're seeing me thank you so much for stopping by my return subscribers from my heart to you i love you thank you thank you so much today we are going to talk about indecent dress indecent indecent dress you know indecent dresses so there was a lady from um, rwanda you'll be looking at her picture right there she appeared she appeared she was arrested that's why she was making news she appeared in a public in a something big that they are doing in rwanda with that dressing that you see her wearing so she was arrested or she something happened to her um <clears throat> so people started asking is that their business what she's wearing why would they arrest her or why would they say anything to her because of what she was wearing so that's why i came up here to talk about indecent dressing and as i am talking about indecent dressing i will be putting all kinds of indecent dressing the way people dress outside the way um uh, some of themselves will be going with their parents and their parents are there and they dress like that and they go out in a club or they go out. I don't know. I don't I don't understand that I was not raised like that at all. I was not raised like that. And there are so many of them that are, you will be seeing all through this video. So people that dress it, um, I don't want to say, I don't know the word to use because uh, <clears throat> I don't know the word to use. People that don't dress um, appropriately. People that don't dress to impress. People that look down on themselves. Let me tell you, when you dress up really, really nice, like I dress up like, uh, like a princess or a queen that I am, no trash will come and talk to me anyhow. No, zero. They will not talk to me anyhow because of the way that I dress. If they're going to talk, they're going to talk, hey, this chick, she looks so fine. She know how to dress. This girl is so pretty. That's what they're going to say. Oh, they will be looking for a way to come and talk to me. And guess what? Those ones that will be looking for a way to come and talk to me will be the ones that are presentable. Will be the ones that have something up here. The trash will never come to me because they know you trash begot trash. The trash will talk to trash. Any man that will see a woman or any woman that will see a man and the, the, the men are going with their with their belt on their knee. The pant is down on their knee with the belt or with the belt. Chineke, you are looking at it now. I'm not making it up. You go and you have a belt on and a woman is following you. That woman don't have respect for herself at all. You go to party, you have clothes on, you have uh, clothes on and your pants and your bra and you just put on bra or as a clothes because you want to show that you have a fine body. My dear, there's something that you are looking for. And that thing that you are looking for, you when you find it, you will not like it when you get home. So the people that things like that attract are the people that are like that. So if you look fine and you know you dress good, dress to impress, cover what God gave you. Because a decent person will never come to talk to somebody that is trashy like this. No, you might have a nice long leg. I have long leg too. I have long leg too, my dear. But that will not make me go out on the public, put on a clothes that is on my hips, so that it was, people will see how be, how long my leg is. Then if they see it and so what? Once they come and see it and take that thing that they see, the character is what matters. Self, self esteem is killing all these people. If you don't love yourself, you will dress like trash and go out. You must present yourself presentable you finish work you if you're going to look for work would you dress up like that and expect what kind of work would you get looking like that unless you are going to uh, 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 that one that i'm trying to say that i don't know how to say because some people make money out of it and i don't want them to say that i am saying that their job is not good whatever it is that you want to do with you that is you but at least put on some clothes please so parents put your foot down when your child will come back and say eh, eh, buy me this don't take your child to store and single-handedly use your hard-earned money and buy them trash and buy them trash to put on and make them teach your child put self-esteem 
on them so that they know that their body is so precious they know that anybody that will come to them will, will respect them when somebody comes to you the way you dress it tells a lot about you the way you talk you have they have to see the dressing first before they come to you to see that you are trash they have to see how you dress then when you when when somebody approaches you knowing that you are naked and the person approach you you know exactly what the person wants and you know what you are going there you know exactly what you are going there to do and you go there you get it you go out another person will come and carry you tomorrow the other one will come and carry you tomorrow you say tomorrow you come out and cry and you, when you continue to do that until you get old then you will come and uh, uh, and start there and start putting on clothes that you are supposed to start putting when you are young so that the right people will see you then you will start putting on clothes and and be tying your head and be tying your head by that time all those people that have seen you when you were beautiful when you were showing your long leg when you were sleeping from one corner to the other they have all married the people that have put on clothes and have good manners and everything they will not see you and by the time that you start tying your head up and start putting on some clothes and now you want to go to church and start casting about then singing carry me the go jehovah carry me the go my husband house it's not carrying you anywhere my dear because you had you had your chance and you you threw it away so parents please put your foot down on your children put your foot down on our children who if they are dating anybody and a especially the girls the girls are dating anybody and their panties on the ground please tell them to run away run 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 with everything don't let anybody that don't have belt on their pants to talk to you no way don't let anybody that they're holding their clothes like this to talk to you no way you are precious you are a princess represent your father and your mother out there good guess what there are some parents that dresses the same way that's how the children but it's few that's how the children learn it and everything that you see that is flying in that house is f this and f that mo f this mo f that and the children are learning in plus their clothes imagine learning f this and f that you are the uh, mf of this and that and that and that combine it with not dressing trash trash to the trash so please put your foot down and let your children dress nice let your children he pays to dress nice when they learn it from the beginning when they grow up they will continue to let because our people say okay oh, ah, explain it in english please i don't know how to explain it in english eh? because what you train is what you're going to reap at the end my children dare not they dare not to come out in the public when their on the way is showing. Are they crazy? Because I always teach my say, hey, listen, on the way means he's supposed to be on the and your clothes will cover it. If he has to show, if if they didn't want it to be on the way, they will call it outer wear so that when we put our clothes, we put our underwear on top of our clothes so that they know it's outer wear. It's on the way. And when you have on the way on, you must cover it. You must present yourself well. If you present yourself well, you won't go and talk to somebody that have nothing, absolutely nothing. So this Rwanda woman showed up practically naked, nipple showing, everywhere showing, and she and she know it was the law in their country. She know it was the law in the country that you cannot dress indecently like that and come out. And she did, and she got what she really, really needed. So please let us prevent our children from getting into trouble let us prevent our children from from doing all these things it's not right at all raise your children right it is your right it's your god given right to teach them good manners if they don't learn anything in your house and go out eh ah you will be you you, you will be blamed though because when they come and marry, like my when I was growing up, I've did I've done it in my videos a couple of times. When I was growing up, my father would say, "Come on, all of you, go to the kitchen right away. Come, come on, carry your fine self and go, <laughs> go to the kitchen and watch what your mother is doing. Watch how how to cook. 
do everything it's not when a man will come and marry you tomorrow now the man will be in his house and be and be putting a curse on me and be everything he said he said your father and your mother did not raise you well uh, you they will start cursing me any child will make their husband to to say anything bad about me eh? you no know, go better so we learn from the home we learn not to wear anything stupid we learn not to talk anything stupid. We learn not to follow stupid people from my father's house. Because my father, eh, my father go show you when, if you try it. Oh, those of you that know who my father is. So my, my lovely people, please, let us do our own job oh, in the way that we are raising our children. Let us not allow them be wearing this thing. No, it's not good, Joe. They finish school, then they come out of school. They can't get a job because guess what? You did not treat them that they have to dress presentable to go and look for a job. All everything that comes out of their mouth is F this, F that. Somebody can call them for interview and they will go there and they will, the F thing will come out of their mouth. They have just disqualified themselves because the people that they are talking to, they are human beings. They are watching everything. They are watching your movement. They are watching your eyes. They are watching your steps because that's their job. They want to know who they're going to give this amazing job, who you are. And you when you go there, one small thing, F, I come out of your mouth. So that's it. You're done. And they ask you, oh, how is your mother? You say, oh, that's your effing mother. That's your this. Hey, that, uh, you start talking something that you were not asked. So parents, please put your put morals in your children. And you yourself, present yourself well in, to your children so that they will have something that they are learning from you. If you don't teach them and they grow up and they become something else, it will be your problem. It will be your fault. And God will not forgive you that you did not give them something that will help them in the world because the word out there is so harsh it's so harsh if you don't train them and put that moral in them and they go out there and something happened to them because they didn't learn anything that would be your fault so i just saw that rwandan woman i just thought i'd come and let you guys know i said yes my people we can do better we can do better let's not follow 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 oh this person is wearing the one with one hand let's follow this person is wearing the one with with no nothing let's follow we don't have to follow any of those rubbish we don't at all so my lovely people are so i thought i'd come and let you guys know from me to you i love you so much thank you so much for watching